This was what we call a volcanic explosivity index six eruption. Nothing like it since Krakatawa in the 19th century. The volcanic eruption that has triggered tsunami warnings across the Pacific Ocean. In January, our planet bore witness to an awe-inspiring yet horrifying spectacle. A mammoth underwater volcano eruption near Tonga. This ended up causing something that no one would have ever expected. A massive fissure crack in the earth, dubbed the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai, this volcano's eruption was unlike anything ever seen. Its explosive might didn't just send shockwaves in the water, it reshaped the very face of nearby islands. Imagine the sheer force that could cause such a transformation. But what mysteries lie beneath this event? How did it affect the environment and people? Join us as we delve deeper into this chilling tale, uncovering the secrets this disaster left behind. Deep within the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean hides an enigma that has sent chills down the spines of scientists worldwide. Ever notice Tonga on the map? It's more than just a cluster of islands. It's perched atop a massive underwater mountain, the Tonga Kermadec Ridge. This mammoth ridge stretches all the way from New Zealand to the Samoan Islands. But here's where it gets hair-raising. A mere 65 kilometers from Tonga's main island, something colossal lurks beneath the waves. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai, a giant submarine volcano, part of a treacherous zone notorious for its volcanic activity. Why is this particular volcano so spine-tingling? It sits ominously over a seismic hotspot, a place where the Earth's fury bubbles just 100 kilometers below. This volcano isn't just active, it's a ticking time bomb. For years, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai has been the stuff of nightmares for experts. It's not just a volcanic marvel, it's a potential catastrophe in the making. But what's the real threat? Why has this underwater giant held the world in suspense? The Tonga volcano has burst to life, shaking our planet's very core. Remember the eruption last year that sent chills down our spines? This colossus, towering 2,000 meters from the ocean's depths, is back with a vengeance. With a vast chasm, the caldera, lurking 150 meters beneath the waves and stretching 4 kilometers wide, how much more hidden terror lies below? This menacing behemoth isn't alone. It's part of the Kermadec Tonga Ridge, a chain of volcanic nightmares born from the clashing of two massive plates, the Pacific an Indo-Australian. It's only the stuff of imagination in thinking about what cataclysms arise when such giants wrestle. And what's even more hair-raising? The Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai volcano, part of this chain, lurks mostly underwater, its secrets veiled by the deep. But two islands, the Hunga Tonga and Hunga Ha'apai, stand as eerie sentinels. The eruption captured by the GOES West and Himawari 8 satellites is nothing short of jaw-dropping. Some say it's the most explosive event ever caught on camera. Could it even surpass the most massive man-made nuclear explosion? The sheer size of the ash cloud suggests so. Imagine overlaying this ash cloud over Europe. The result? A vast shadow swallowing countries whole. Poor Luxembourg, lost beneath its immense expanse. And here's a chilling detail. Though the satellites missed it, radio wave instruments picked up something eerie over 200,000 lightning flashes within that monstrous plume. This phenomenon is called volcanic lightning. Volcanic lightning is a natural phenomenon that has left scientists and volcano enthusiasts both fascinated and puzzled. Volcanic lightning is not just a trick of the imagination, it's a genuine phenomenon observed during volcanic eruptions. Scientists have managed to unveil some of its secrets. When a volcano erupts, it spews out hot ash, rock fragments and gases into the atmosphere. As these materials collide and interact, they generate static electricity. Think of it as rubbing a balloon against your hair to create static electricity, only on a volcanic scale. The charged particles in the volcanic plume separate, with the heavier negatively charged particles sinking lower and the lighter positively charged particles rising higher. This separation creates an electrical potential difference, 
just like when you rub your socks on a carpet, and zap. Lightning happens. Scientists believe that volcanic lightning occurs due to a complex interplay of factors, including the temperature, pressure, and composition of the volcanic plume. These factors influence the creation and behavior of charged particles, leading to the electrifying display we witness. However, there's still much to learn about the precise mechanisms behind this phenomenon. Volcanic lightning may have given us some clues, but it still holds many mysteries. For instance, scientists are eager to understand why some volcanic eruptions produce more lightning than others. Is it related to the size of the eruption or the type of volcano? And what about the different types of volcanic lightning, such as the branching kind seen in thunderstorms and the more enigmatic, dirty thunderstorms? There's the tantalizing question of whether volcanic lightning could serve as an early warning system for eruptions. Can we predict eruptions by monitoring lightning activity? That's a hook that leaves both scientists and thrill-seekers on the edge of their seats, waiting for answers. But this hasn't been the first time that this volcano has erupted so apocalyptically. This fiery behemoth has a habit of reminding everyone of its presence in the most terrifying way possible. In March 2009, this underwater giant awoke with a vengeance. Deep below the surface, near Hunga Tonga, the hungry Harpai submarine volcano exploded into action. A deafening roar filled the air as it unleashed plumes of steam, smoke, and pumice that shot thousands of feet into the sky. Tonga's chief geologist, Kalepi Mafi, watched in awe as lava and ash poured from two menacing vents. One of these vents thrust its fiery breath into the heart of Ahapai Island, while the other raged just offshore. When the eruption subsided, a new landmass had emerged, bridging the gap between the two vents. The terror did not end there. In 2014, this slumbering giant stirred once again. It began with volcanic plumes and a series of earth-shattering earthquakes that rattled the northern reaches of Tonga. This was an ominous sign that the volcano was reawakening. Then, in mid-December, a sinister white steam plume rose from the ocean's depths near the volcanic mount. Satellite images captured the relentless eruption, with smoke and ash spewing relentlessly into the atmosphere. As 2015 dawned, the volcano entered a new, more terrifying phase. The ash cloud it unleashed soared three kilometers high. Ten days into January, it began spewing ash plumes an astonishing nine kilometers into the heavens. Geologists from New Zealand and Tonga, brave enough to approach the fiery monster, witnessed the eruption gradually quieting down. Most of the fury now emanated from the new landmass formed during the 2009 eruption. But dangers persisted as magma met ocean waters, resulting in explosive steam bursts. Miraculously, no volcanic debris floated nearby. Finally, by the end of January, Tongan officials declared a chilling end to the eruption. In June 2017, two fearless French explorers, Cecil Sable and Damien Gruya, set foot on New Island, a place shrouded in mystery. Their journey took them to the heart of the unknown, where they captured eerie images of the island and gathered 16 enigmatic rock samples. Little did they know, these rocks would become a secret link to the enigmatic landscapes of Mars. Back at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, scientists delved into these peculiar rocks. What they discovered sent shivers down their spines. These rocks held the key to unlocking the secrets of Martian volcanoes, leaving us to ponder the mysteries of the Red Planet. But that's not all. The very ash that once cloaked Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai held a dark secret. It had undergone a sinister transformation in the depths of the warm oceanic waters. These findings left volcanologists baffled and raised chilling questions about the island's fate. And then, the unthinkable occurred in 2022. A terrifying eruption, unexpected and relentless, unleashed chaos and destruction upon New Island. The once promising future of the island was shattered, leaving us to wonder what lies beneath the surface, waiting to emerge. In December 2021, the earth trembled in fear as a sleeping giant awoke. Tonga's volcano, dormant for years, roared to life in a cataclysmic eruption that shook the world. The eruption was so colossal that it was seen from the capital of Tonga, but its reach extended far beyond. At its zenith, 
This volcanic behemoth unleashed a blast so powerful that it echoed all the way to Alaska, some 6,000 miles away. It wasn't just a rumble, it was a magma hammer, a force of nature that defied comprehension. Scientists assigned it a Volcanic Explosivity Index VEI, of at least five, a rarity in modern times. As the weeks passed, the eruption escalated, culminating in a spectacular climax. This fiery beast spewed forth an astounding 10 cubic kilometers of rock, ash, and sediment into the atmosphere, creating a monstrous cloud that dwarfed anything seen in recent memory. This explosion was the largest recorded by modern instruments, an awe-inspiring display of Earth's fury. This eruption was a record-breaker in more ways than one. It surpassed even the infamous 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption and rivaled the power of the 1883 Krakatoa eruption. In fact, NASA revealed that this cataclysm was a staggering 100 times more potent than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. But perhaps the most mind-boggling aspect was its reach into space. Yes, you read that correctly. This eruption was so massive that it injected water vapors high enough to touch the fringes of outer space, leaving scientists and onlookers alike in sheer astonishment. The world watched in both terror and intrigue as this colossal eruption unfolded, reminding us all of the unstoppable power that lies beneath our feet, waiting for its moment to remind us of our planet's terrifying majesty. Scientists also reveal that it excavated a mind-boggling 2.3 cubic miles of rock, leaving no doubt about its sheer terror. But the true horror came when the volcano unleashed a plume of scorching gas and ash that soared an unprecedented 35.4 miles into the sky. This ominous cloud threatened the very atmosphere itself, with a shocking 146 teragrams of vaporized water. With such a mind-boggling figure, Scientists are worried about the impact this would have on our global climate. They believe it would be significant and potentially catastrophic. To put it in perspective, 146 teragrams is equivalent to about 146 trillion kilograms, an enormous amount of water. Firstly, this massive injection of water vapor would lead to a dramatic increase in the greenhouse effect. Water vapor is a potent greenhouse gas, and its presence in such large quantities would trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere, causing temperatures to rise rapidly. This could exacerbate global warming, leading to more extreme weather events, sea level rise, and disruptions to ecosystems. Additionally, the sudden release of so much water vapor would alter atmospheric circulation patterns. This could result in unpredictable shifts in weather patterns, with some regions experiencing more intense rainfall and flooding while others may face prolonged droughts. Furthermore, the increased water vapor could also impact the ozone layer, potentially leading to ozone depletion and increased levels of harmful ultraviolet UV radiation reaching the Earth's surface. As if that weren't enough, the terror didn't stop there. A tsunami, a rogue of the deep, set off on a worldwide rampage, leaving experts baffled. The explosion triggered tsunamis that radiated across the Pacific, striking nations from Fiji to Chile. Waves towering up to 20 meters wreaked havoc, leaving death and destruction in their wake. Lives were lost, many were injured, and some may never be found, lost to the unforgiving sea. Satellite images captured the shockwaves rippling through the skies, revealing the true scale of this monstrous eruption. Kevin McKay, a marine geologist, declared it a massive event, one that grows in horror the more it's studied. And as we grapple with the aftermath, one chilling fact remains. The Earth's giants, lurking in the depths, hold secrets that could reshape our understanding of nature's wrath. As Tonga's Deputy Secretary for Natural Resources warns, this eruption serves as a stark reminder that we are but small inhabitants on this restless planet, always at the mercy of its colossal forces. And with the heart of this behemoth volcano concealed beneath the waves, the mystery of its last terrifying outburst continues to haunt our nightmares. In the midst of all this, people's reactions were as much as there were heads remaining. Josephine, for instance, took to Twitter to talk about all the dust, damage, and cleanup there was to do. Yet she thanked God for they were still standing after all that. On the contrary, 
People like Tavita Tai talked about how they felt that the heavens had cracked open and how the sky darkened full of ash clouds forcing night on us. Similarly, Honorable Frederica Tuita talked about the roads being covered with almost three inches of ash. But perhaps the most terrifying experience is the one narrated by Lisala Folau. We floated at sea, just calling out to each other. It was dark and we could not see each other. Very soon I could not hear my niece calling anymore, but I could hear my son calling. Desperately hustling between calling out to him or keeping him out of the water waves, he wrestled with the waves for 27 shocking hours before he was rescued. But what sparked the surprising cascade of events at the heart of the Tonga volcano? This was the burning question that drove scientists into an in-depth exploration. In a joint venture, Niwa and the Nippon Foundation launched the Tonga Eruption Seabed Mapping Project. Imagine diving deep, navigating an underwater expanse equivalent to 8,500 square miles, trying to piece together a puzzle. Their tools, advanced seabed mapping tech, cameras that captured images and videos, and specialized equipment to gather volcanic rock and ash samples. What they saw was mesmerizing. Most of the area was devoid of life, covered in an almost ghostly white layer of fine sediments. It was like the aftermath of a snowstorm, but underwater and eerily silent. However, it was the rocky cores, retrieved from these zones, that unveiled the catastrophe's main culprit. A rapid avalanche of scorching ash and volcanic rubble, termed as the pyroclastic flow. Now let's be clear, no one has ever witnessed these pyroclastic flows underwater. So, while it sounds like a scene from a thriller movie, it's based on educated guesses. The theory? As this volcanic debris sinks deeper into the ocean, the boiling ash likely turns the water into gas. This gas layer might then act like a propulsion system, pushing the material across the sea floor, resembling a child zooming down a slip and slide. Evidence suggested not one, but multiple pyroclastic flows spiraling around the volcano's rim. These volcanic avalanches weren't just for show. They disrupted both local and global communication lines for Tonga. Imagine an entire nation, cut off, with the outside world oblivious to their plight. A model developed by Emily Lane from Niwa painted the scene. The volcanic matter filled a valley housing a communication cable, and in a game of underwater pinball, deflected off valley walls, dragging a broken cable fragment northward. The blast's power? It drilled down a staggering 2,300 feet of rock in the central crater. Picture this, 75% of that rock settled within a 12-mile radius of the eruption. But the rest took to the skies, swirling as atmospheric dust, painting the heavens with vibrant sunrises and sunsets for months. And if you think the volcano is done, think again. It's still active, spewing hot water dotted with volcanic glass fragments. While it may seem calm, this volcano is far from dormant. With these eruptions becoming such a frequent matter, it is mandatory that the residents know the safety precautions that they can lean on when things go south. This isn't just a matter of those residents, but also for anyone that is afraid that such eruptions may one day go so out of control that they assail the entire world. One of the foremost safety measures is to remain indoors. This might sound straightforward, but the thick ash produced during an eruption can be harmful when inhaled. Being indoors can greatly reduce your exposure. When inside, ensure that all windows, doors, and ventilation openings are closed to prevent ash from seeping in. If you have to step outside, always wear a mask. Even a simple cloth mask can reduce the inhalation of fine ash particles that could irritate your lungs and throat. In addition to ash, volcanic eruptions can produce fast-moving and deadly pyroclastic flows. These flows are a mixture of hot gas, ash, and rocks that can travel at incredible speeds. If you live near an active volcano and hear warnings about potential eruptions, relocating to a safer area can be the most prudent decision. It's essential to stay away from river valleys and low-lying areas, since pyroclastic flows tend to follow these paths. Eruptions also often come with a cascade of rocks and boulders, commonly referred to as volcanic bombs. Staying away from the volcano's base and being cautious of its surroundings can prevent exposure to these hazards. Remember, even if you're a distance away, these rocks can be flung several miles from the eruption site. 
Another intriguing aspect of volcanic eruptions is the potential for lahars, which are mud flows mixed with volcanic debris. They can be incredibly fast and, much like quicksand, have the capacity to engulf anything in their path. Areas that are known to be susceptible to lahars should be avoided, especially during and after heavy rainfall, as water can turn accumulated ash into a deadly torrent. Lastly, one might not immediately consider the electrical implications of an eruption, but volcanic ash can cause short circuits in electrical equipment. For those living close to an erupting volcano, it's advisable to unplug sensitive electronics and use them sparingly. Understanding these precautions doesn't just ensure your safety, but also provides a deeper appreciation for the power of Mother Nature. While volcanic eruptions are undoubtedly mesmerizing, always prioritize your safety and the well-being of those around you. Remember, respect for nature includes recognizing its potential dangers and acting responsibly. Thank you for being with us. Make sure to watch the next video on your screen. It's fantastic.